Good morning, I just got to my mom's house to pick her up for the day, but I've decided that I'm going full out for fall, Halloween, because it's just a cozy season and that's just how I wanna feel right now. So I thought that I would document it for you guys to hopefully make you feel like you're being taken back to your childhood again. I think that's really why I wanna do it. It's just so, it's something that you love when you're a child and seeing all the decorations. And I just have so much planned that I wanted to bring you along for. This way, please. Why does that look so provocative? <laughs> oh, how cute, little. Is this, oh, I thought it had hair, it's a bag. <laughs> I thought it was like doing like the Elvis hair. So wrong to me, it's like a little graveyard. I hate it. Ugh. Oh, and then it's an actual graveyard. Are these are gargoyles. Oh, this reminds me of Halloween Town. Those are the biggest pumpkins. There's a man singing in the background. <laughs> These are the biggest pumpkins I've ever seen. I was just telling my mom I should get this for all year round so it keeps the creepy people away from me. I'm sure if you dare. I feel like I'm in some magical forest in this aisle. Mother, you cannot tell me that this does not look like me. That looks very much like you. Looking at houses as well. She has memories like Hobby Lobby. I love this one so much. So we're in the third home decor store. I really should stop myself. It makes me happy, so I don't feel that bad because of that. So let's go. Oh, I'm in the bathroom with Marshalls, by the way. Let's head out. <laughs> Michael's has by far the best stuff. Look what I just found, it looks like my merch. How cute is that? If you like the same kind of decor as me, you definitely have to come to Michael's. It's better than all of the ones that we've been to today and anything I've seen, wouldn't you agree? Yes, definitely you. Theaters and celebrating 100 years of movie memories with us. Hey, so I'm wearing my festive black cat shirt and I'm going to be making some pumpkin donuts. They are gluten free. They look so good. I'll link the recipe below if you want to try it. But I figured since we're already in the fall spirit here, let's make donuts together. Never made these, but I'm excited. So what you're going to need is some all purpose gluten free flour, eggs, cornstarch, 100% pumpkin puree, virgin coconut oil, baking powder, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, and pumpkin pie spice. Of course, you'll need like sugar and salt and all of that, but you will also need little donut molds. So these are the kind 
You can see they're actual donuts, but these are the kind that are very flexible and it's easy to actually get the donut out. And I also bought these, which are basically piping bags with tips. Um, I've seen some people who will put the mixture in here and then it makes it easier to like put it around a little circle. But we'll see if I can even do this. It didn't really seem that difficult and we do have some donuts. I haven't tried them yet, but look at these guys. Let's try it. Okay, all right. That's a donut inside. Even the texture is good. Mm. It doesn't have a ton of flavor, I will say. Be summoned instead. Got her started. Any idea how to turn it off? And you know why they don't like my idea of letting the kids from Halloween Town go to school here? Fear and ignorance. Fear and ignorance. That's why. Okay, I think I got everything. I want to decorate today. I'm so excited. I just got done filming an almost two hour true crime video. That was crazy. But now I have all my bags in front of me of my fall decor. I'm doing a little something right here. I don't know why these are here. <laughs> the little owls, I think, are gonna go on my couch. I feel like it'll just be super simple to do something like that. Until my cats knock it off. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. So I think I'm going to stick this broom in this corner. It's just for like smell good purposes. And it's, it's not like an apple orchard. But I feel like it's also cute decor. So while it's fall, might as well have to play. Should I do it up? Oh, yeah, I'm going to keep it like that.
Okay, so this is what I have so far. It's my favorite shelf because it's full of Halloween stuff. And I'm thinking in this little guy, I can put a little um, blinking light there too. But these don't have batteries, so I had to get batteries for them. But basically, I'm a little ghosty and then a taxi because it reminded me of Halloween Town and the little skeleton guy. And then a little pumpkin over here. And I like how I have the tea lights behind, or not the tea lights, the flickering lights, and there's no lights on here. And then you go up, and there is lights on this one. I actually love this. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It has like the brown rope, the warm lights. And then down here, I put the skeleton with the rose and turn the books inside out so it's like the main focus. But I never know what to do with this top shelf because the rest of the shelves can really be seen in my videos when I'm sitting down at the desk. But this guy you can't see. So it's like, I wanna make it cohesive for the look of it. You know, I was gonna say if anyone walks in here, but it's only gonna be me. So for myself, I want it to be cohesive, but I never know what to put up there. I guess I could put more books that I have. Let's see, there they are. <laughs> I also got blankets, so I have a regular orange one that I can do for fall, and then I got a Halloween one. It's like full on Halloween. Like you can't tell me that's not literally the perfect blanket you could ever want. Okay, so I'm very excited for the table next to the bookshelf because I got this really cool thing, and if you're wondering, why the wallpaper just stops here is because that panel just decided it didn't want to stick anymore so it fell off i do have more but it just keeps falling off so it's like at this point i'll just crop it out of my main channel videos and you guys can see it in its glory and you won't judge me right i hope not this is the noisiest thing but i think it's a candelabra i got these flickering lights for the candle i guess i can try them on there I still have to get batteries, so let's see. Oh yeah, they fit perfectly. Please look at this mess of me just trying to get in the Halloween spirit. Why? The cats are loving it though. I so want to eat my apples and caramel in front of a TV show or a movie that's all Halloween-y, but instead I'm editing because please look at how long this video is. Yeah, so that's what it is right now. It was like 1.45, like one hour and 45 minutes. So, I had to stare at my face for far too long. So, yeah, that's what I'm up to now because I want to get this done so I can go up on time. So, I went and got my nails done because I was treating myself. I decided I actually got done two cases of true crime, like fully researching and scripting two different cases this week and normally one takes all week so and i didn't rush it either i was just like in a good like flow state so i was proud of myself and i was like you know what it's friday it'll take like 30 minutes to an hour go get your nails redone so i did and i actually really like them i feel like the color really compliments me and then my lady was like it matches your lipstick so she's very cute but today i wanted to sit down for the first time in a long time and get some writing done so i'm not going to show you what i actually plotted because obviously like i don't want you to have my book yet yet I will start out most of the time when I'm writing a book, I will start out by the notes app on my phone and just like writing things that come to my head. Sometimes it will just come in the middle of the night. I'll literally wake up or I'll be falling asleep and it'll come to me randomly. And I love ideas that come like that because I feel like they're just meant to be, you know, and I want to capitalize on them when they do come. I do believe there's like this theory that like ideas come to you, but they can also be taken by somebody else if they're willing to act on it before you. 
that kind of gives me anxiety but also at the same time i feel like it's it's a motivating thing so i want to work on this some more let's do some writing I've been writing a little bit and now I have my strawberry. I made a homemade strawberry gluten-free cake bread. It's really, really good. Um, but I am basically just on the idea phase, the not even the plotting really, just coming up with just the overall idea. I mean, I guess you could say it's the plot, but it's not like a finished plot if that makes sense so i'm just getting inspiration really and trying to figure out exactly where i want this book to go there's something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin my hair is a mess i just got it down from my bun but i wanted to give you a little update so i feel like i have gotten some really good ideas for the overall plot and for the characters it's crazy because in the grand scheme of things i've really done nothing in regards to writing a whole book but it's a step in the right direction i am happy at least i am pushing forward and doing something that i'm passionate about and i'm making time for it which is so important I wanted to go ahead and end off the vlog here and I hope to see you in a new vlog soon. Let me know what you would like to see me doing in the vlogs. Okay, bye!